let's get to it. We're doing our Charlie Lola treatment. That is plain yogurt. That is amino liquids and baking soda. Those are the products you need. You mix it up thoroughly and it will come to this pasty looking white stuff. And you just rub it throughout your hair from root to tip. And you see I keep pulling. I want to make sure that it's all thoroughly through my hair. I place the shower cap over my head. And I let it sit for 30 minutes. Now it's time to open our wild African hair. I'm really, really excited. This hair is life. And that that's a manual where they give you a list of tips on how to treat the hair. And that is the wig. It's a full lace wig, as you see. And I'm pretty excited. I'm shaking it out. It smells good. It's really good. I think now it's time for me to wash the hair. This is the hair wet. I combed it out and I just wanted everyone to see the length and how it looks after it has been thoroughly washed and conditioned. Okay, hi everybody. This is your girl GG Spot and I'm back. Now, I already did the Lola, uh, the Cherry Lola method in my hair. That was with the baking soda. Yo, plain yogurt and a little bit of amino liquid. Stopped it by putting apple cider vinegar. Um, you have to rinse that all in your hair. Some people let that sit as well for 30 minutes. Me, I just do a quick rinse out. Maybe because I know I'm going to really braid my hair. But this is my hair. And as you see from my last previous videos, my hair has grown. Um, I haven't cut it. My hair grows pretty slow I must say because it breaks so easily by it being the 4C texture like as you see I have product in my hair and this is still how my hair looks <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I'm free. I look so rough like but I'm going to show you the products that I use before I even twist A I'm using the Jamaican black castor oil when you have 4C hair it's all about moisture and order to keep I just pour it into the middle of my head and I am putting I like to split my hair in four sections and I rub the castor oil through, thoroughly throughout the hair making sure my hair is saturated fully and moist with the water and I just rub it around my edges then I add dun -dun -dun -dun, kinky curly not to dang honey some raw shea butter that I purchased at uh, Whole Foods and I'm going to use some eco styler gel Sorry, my containers look raggedy, and I'm using my dimming brush. Since I'm putting all the weight, I'm going to do a two-layer kind of like flat thing going to the back. I'm going to figure out the method, but what is it's going to look. Now, my hair is fully flat twist. I put it in two layers, and I just made a small section in the front just in case I needed some leave out. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Look at me. Crazy. Hello, it's the morning, it's the next day, so this is what I've done to my wild African wig. Now, I'm going to show you some of the things, because I had to do a lot of things off camera, because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, so I wanted to make sure before I make a video, let's see if this process comes out properly, so that's what I did. So I took a lot of photos, and I'm going to show you now. wig as you see I did the twist out using just some regular leave-in conditioner and I let it sit overnight on my wig head and let it air dry it wasn't always it wasn't fully dry so I did diffuse it but this is how it looked I mean the braids and everything twist as you can see the hair says it's supposed to be 18 inches but it looks like it's 20 I'm just saying because I didn't know. I was thinking about cutting it because the hair was just all over. It was massive. Did you see? I didn't tell you a secret, guys. I didn't squeeze anything. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no leave out in my hair. My hair is twisted back, as you've seen that process already. And I'm just going to take the comb right here and just go like this. And then that's it. And I'm going to add a little bit of my Super Grow <laughs> Extra Hold Gel. Um, 
Actually, I'm using this really on the wig just to lay that top part down some more. Uh, I'm wearing Ruby Woo. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm wearing Ruby Woo by MAC. And I'm wearing Lady Danger by MAC along with Brick. So I put on Brick. I line my lips first. Why do I line my lips first? Many people ask me. Um, because when the color tends to fade away, the liner is the base, so the liner still be on. So say if you can't reach your lipstick and you just have your Vaseline or your chapstick, you will still have that hint of red because the liner is much thicker than the lipstick. And everybody knows Ruby Wool, you can basically wear all day, but if you're eating a good sandwich, it just may fade away. So, I hope you enjoy this tutorial slash review. And I'm sorry that you couldn't get the whole gist of it. But you can just do so much with this hair, guys. I just don't know what to say. I'm loving it. My forehead looks extremely big, but oh well. It's your girl's G's G-Spot. And remember, peace, love, and shea butter. It's your girl's G, and I'm out.